Hello. Here you're going to have a reenactment based on the six girls. Hey, what's your name? Um, I'm Fluttershy. Hey, hey, Blossom Forth, check this out. What is it, Feather May? Oh, look at this little shy girl. Oh, you little Fluttershy. You don't know how to talk, do you? Huh? Go get a personality. Huh? <laughs> Oh, the poor little baby's gonna cry. <laughs> oh, oh, what a baby. But what her classmates and the girls who bullied her didn't know is that poor Samantha was often bullied at her home. She was constantly bullied. She was often bullied, threatened, and abused by her mother and her stepfather. Her mother, her mother attacked her and blamed her for ruining her life. You worthless bitch! <laughs> you ruined my life. My life was just fine until you came into the world, you little bitch. <laughs> By the time she was 15, she was self-conscious. Things got even worse when her father came home. When her father came home, he didn't really like taking care of Samantha. He would often leave her in the basement all day. Her mother tolerated this. I'm leaving her in the basement. <sighs> Thank God. I guess now I can finally have some fun. Okay. But by the time Samantha's half-sister was born, things got even worse. They didn't really like Samantha anymore. They hardly pay attention to her and they abuse her. They often beaten her and starved her to death. Everybody uh, buddy didn't like Samantha. Everybody hated her. Her only friends were the animals that she rescued. At least you guys like me, right? However, her parents would tell her to get rid of these animals because they didn't like them. She was forced to get rid of these animals by her parents. <laughs> Samantha later committed suicide by taking a dose of pills. Everybody hates me. My family hates me. My mother hates me. My, I bet my sister even hates me. My father hates me. The kids at school hate me. Nobody loves me. You know, I bet that if I take these pills, they'll make me better. I'll be able to go to a place where I'm loved. A place where I won't have to deal with this. <laughs> she died by an overdose of suicide pills. The next girl was Jancy Walters. Jancy Walters was a rich, smart, and beautiful girl who will be played by Rarity and reenacted by Rarity. She was rich, smart, beautiful, and an expert in fashion. She was also very popular and loved by most of the girls. Oh my gosh, Rarity, your dress is so beautiful. You are like such a star. Um, thank you. I'm a fashion expert. That's just what I do. Oh my gosh, she is so cool. I wish I was just like her. A lot of people thought that her life was a nice, charming life. They didn't really think anything bad about her. However, what they didn't know is that her parents was, were constantly fighting at home. How could you do that to me? How could you just do that? Well, it's not my fault I need to get some money to pay for the kids. Come on, I needed that money for my job, for to get a new suit. Who freaking cares about your suit? What about the kids? What about the family? What about... D d d d 
why? Why do my parents keep arguing? What's wrong with me? What is wrong? Why, why won't, won't they just get along? <laughs> because of this, her parents constantly argued and were really only there together for appearances. She was later held up in high standard, which made her a perfectionist. Because of this, she really wanted to be a fashion designer and live in Paris. Oh, Mom, Dad, please, can I be a fashion designer and live in Paris? Please, please, please. But her parents told her no. Sorry, honey, you can't stay. You can't go to Paris. You have to stay here in Carolina. Yeah. And they also want her to marry a proper rich man. For the most part, her parents ignored her. And the only thing that they were concerned about was being rich in high social standards. In reality, the whole reason why her mother married her father in the first place is because they needed the money. And they were already losing money very fast. This is what drove her to be a fashion expert. She mainly designed her own clothes so that she could look like as if she was wealthy and fashionable, when in reality, she wasn't. Later, she died in a car crash. The cause of the car crash was because her parents kept arguing. Her neck snapped and she died instantly. This is the performance of the car crash. They, her parents were arguing of money. Come on, we need more money to feed the kids. Who freaking cares about the kids? I care about the kids. With her neck being snapped, she died instantly. She was clearly the inspiration for Rarity. The next girl was Alexandra Matthews, which will be reenacted by Rainbow Dash. Originally, her father didn't really like her. He actually wanted a son, but her mother told her that she was not able to give birth to another child. Okay, honey, look. I know that you want a son, and I know that you really, really want a son to take care of and play sports with, but I just can't have another child. I'm really, really sorry. Okay, I understand. Because of this, since he knew that her mother was never able to give birth to another son for a child, he then just took his daughter and treated her like the son that he always wanted. He played sports with her, and she, in the end, she was inspired and wanted to become a major athlete. And not, not only that, but she also loved her parents. She loved her father and her mother very much. Not only that, but she was also happy to play sports with her father. This made her exceed and make her really, really popular. There I go! The number one star athlete, Rainbow Dash, once again! Whoa! Cool! You are so popular! You're so cool, Rainbow Dash! I wish I was just as athletic as you! You are so cool! And not only that, by the time that she was in high school, she thought of being an athletic scout's colleges for all over the country. This made her try out even harder. <clears throat> Uh, I'm gonna be the best. I'm gonna be the best athletic pony ever. Uh, uh, uh. Man, I can't wait. Soon I'll go to the Olympics. It's gonna be so awesome. But, however that changed, by the time she was 15, her mother gave born to a new baby son. And after that, her parents didn't really pay attention to that, her that much anymore. Mom, Dad, you're never going to believe it. Today, I scored soccer so hard and it was so cool. Wow, Billy, we are so proud of you. Yes, son, we're so proud of you, Billy. Hey, Mom, Dad, guess what I did? Okay, I was in the soccer field and... Oh, um, we're sorry, Rainbow Dash. You're going to have to tell us later. Billy was just telling us this wonderful story and how he'd go in the soccer field. Yeah, it's okay. You can talk to them later. Oh, okay. So anyways, they are never going to pay attention to me. 
which is why I should be even more determined to succeed. She ended up pushing herself so hard on track that she neglected her friends, her health, and everything. Rainbow Dash! Rainbow Dash! I'm sorry, I'm too busy in track right now! Rainbow Dash! Um, Rainbow Dash, we're sorry to tell you, but you're having lots of problems with your health. Maybe you should stop. Huh! As if I'm going to stop. I'm never going to stop because of some stupid heart problem.